I'm Chris. And I'm Craig. And this is Relic Hunters Wales. Let's go Tecton! Well, uh, I've got a target. Oh, Craig's down there. He's got a questionable one. He's making a decision on whether to dig it or not walking to dig away. it. He's, oh, he's walking away. Anyway, we've got a good target. Here. Well, a target, but it sounds good. Sorry, not pinpoint. Right, we're going there. We're going there. It's still fresh this morning, but I'm freezing. Oh, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> It'll warm up now. The more the more targets we get, Craig, the warmer we'll get. That's that's my philosophy on this one. That's my philosophy on the total load of it, mate. Right there. That probably would have been a better option in the beginning for me. Right, what's it saying? Get the computer back out. No, it's out. Oh, it's not very deep at all. Not very deep at all, yeah, Craig. No. Nah. Was that it? Oh, I got it. You got it. What have you got? A, uh... Okay. A clasp of some sort, is it? Yeah. Uh, there you go. What do you reckon? Off a box or something? Um, yeah, it could be um, off the side of an old box or something like that. You know, I found, remember, last, remember the last time we were up on here, I found the uh, lock, the lock, the keyhole. Yeah, it could be part that of that. That looks like part yeah, of yeah, that. Yeah. Cool. Happy days. First find of fine. the day. So Chris just had a lovely target with the CTX. What was it showing on there, bud? Um, I didn't read the numbers. It was just the tone I was listening. Yeah? I don't know what I'll make of that. A bit of jewellery, are we thinking? Oh, yeah. It's yeah, a it's chain. A, Could be gold. It's got someone's name Could on it. Could be a dog tag. So what? <laughs> Look. It's got my name on it. Is it really? Seriously. Oh, that's mad. Oh, it's got Chris something. There's another part of it. Yes, yeah, uh, definitely some jewellery. Could be gold plated, possibly. I'd say plated. It doesn't look like genuine, you know, solid because obviously it's worn down a little bit. But there's some lovely design around there. A bit of a chain for it. A bit of a chain. Do you know what? I think I lost this when I was a child. When you, and your name was Christopher. <laughs> when, when my name was Christopher, yeah. Hey, that's quite cool. It's got my yeah, it's good find, that is mad. Does he actually say Christopher as well? That's my name. My With very old writing, Christopher. So that could be a bit of age to this, actually. You know, the writing style, you know. Nice find, Chris. I'm happy with that. I bet you are. It's mine as well. On to the, no, it's not. It's mine. Two, mine. Two later. It's not a coin number. Craig's got himself a target. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Is it one number was on the knocks, mate? He was showing a good 18, 19. Now, silver tends to clap as a 17 as a rule. Okay. Um, but you never know. You never know, mate. You never know. It's very, it's there. So we're going to have a look. Watch your finger. Nearly chopped it off. I don't need this one. Okay, so you didn't come out. Oh, there's something on that back bit. No, that's a stone. Oh, I just seen pull that back again. That's that bit. Just with a look. Oh yeah, we've got a coin. I think. Either a coin or a button. Button. Button moon. Let's have a look, so you've got anything on it. Well, that CTX is having a right little dance with it. <laughs> now let's chat with each other, bless. Ah, oh, do you know what? It's actually a coin. It's a coin? Oh, wow. Cool. I thought that was a button it because did look it's um, didn't it? corroded on the back there. Yeah. But if you get it in there, you should be able to see the right thing coming around the outside. So, the Georgian or something. Let's have a look what we've got on the back. There's a penny. Oh, right. Okay. You sure it's not a half penny? It's yeah. smaller. It's half a half penny. penny. You know. But I'll clean That's him up. I'll give him a good clean well up found, after. Mate. I think it's a George. You can see it's a George. You can see the back of his head there. But we'll give him a clean up, guys, and we shall show you at the end of the video. On to the next yes, one. I've got a target by here I'm about to dig. But Chris has just been shouting he's got a target there as well. It's a good sounding target as well. Yeah? He uh, 1244 and 1243 on the, uh, on the CTX. So okay, so all you CTX users out there will know exactly what he's on about. Top, we got a coin. We got a coin. We, we got, got that. A... 
two pence piece. A two p piece? A whole two p. Wow. We could spend that in the shop on the way home. Get two sweets. Yes. yes. Thank you. <laughs> on to the next one. So Craig's onto his target now. He has something. I have a target. And it was just in these uh, where the tractor's driven through as well, didn't it? Yes. So that's just helped. On the that's side that's of benefited it, so. and helped all the way, hasn't it? Oh, it's still in there. Still in there, and she's loud. Let's have a look. Oh, they stick out the way. Oh, it's big. Don't be, don't be too disheartened. It's big. Not, not disheartened. What's the, <laughs> uh, what's the word for it? I don't know. Uh, I got a D in English, mate. <laughs> <Don't point laughs> <asking me. laughs> Defeatist. Defeatist. Oh, I wouldn't even ask myself in school. Didn't even know My head hurts now. I said it was a, a real word. word. I thought they made it up just to wind us up, like. Put it in there. Dang, I moved it, whatever it is. Aha! I thought I was dressed a bit of junk. But we've got a ring in there. Oh, wow, cool. But I think it's a bit of a big ring for a finger. Yeah. So I'm assuming that's not going to be a finger ring. Could be one of them, those things that kids are using now to make their ears bigger. Have a look. What do they call them? Oh yeah, the hoops. So it just could yeah. be... Oh, I don't know what it is actually. It is... A... Just the top of a... Uh, I don't know. Really, do you think? Like an oil cap thing, isn't it? Or something like that. It does yeah. say on there something. Aladdin. <laughs> Aladdin, does it? <laughs> <laughs> but he has got something on there. It's definitely something old. Uh, not mega old. Probably from the 40s. We give it a clean up, see what it says, and see if we can work it out. If well any of you at home know what it is, let us know. Well found. Find's find. On to the next one. So, we've got a target, Chris. Do you want to be a kind man be, and come and hold be, this for I'll me? Be man. Thank you very much, sir. We're in the hole. It's One, quite close. What was the numbers, mate? Uh, 12, 13. 12, 13. So I'm thinking it's a coin. But I don't want to jinx myself. And for those of you who reckon the knocks can't go deep, we're already pinpointed deep. And we need to go deeper. <laughs> so, yeah, four inches, my toot toot. Bleep! <laughs> yeah, my bleep 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 bleep. bleep. <laughs> Clearly don't know how to set it up. <laughs> You're going to get it with a... There's just so many of the people out there. Yeah, it's, it's a new machine, and a lot of people obviously are going out thinking you can just switch it on and, and go out and have fun, but you, you do have to play with the settings, you know. If you get the settings right, as you can tell, she'll dig. And this is, you know, this is a deep hole. <laughs> Clearly not. Yeah, how far is that probe in there now? Yeah, you're pretty much nine you know, inches there, Yeah, mate. you're the length of the probe, so. Whew. Get a breather. Lots of birds going on over there. <laughs> oh, never. We can see rust. I oh, don't no. like it when we can see rust, Chris. Oh, no. No. No, hang on. Give it a bit. Yeah, no, that's that's. It's going to be worse. something rusty, my friend. I think it's going to be another lock. Possibly. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's orange. Yes. Could be golden rust. You know what they say though, Craig? <laughs> a find, find is a find. find. <laughs> On to the next one. Yeah, you thought come off the bag, you recording. Hello. I'm recording. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> just thought I'd catch uh, Chris Midflow. Just yeah, discussing my delivery today. Sand, really. <laughs> discussing my sand delivery later on today because I'm still in the middle of doing my patio. Ugh. Well, when I say I'm in the middle of doing the patio, I've given up doing the patio and I'm paying somebody to come in and do it. <laughs> We've got a lovely target. What was he sounding on? Uh, I was getting 12.40. Yeah, I was getting around 18 on mine. We got one there, and there's a bit of iron knocking around there, wasn't there? Yeah. But, uh, a double dinger. Yeah, the iron was about there, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what we're thinking, anyway. But it's, as I said, it's good to compare what we're doing with each and what we're reading on each machine. Though. Yeah. It's good to compare them, sort of. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving the knocks. I didn't think... You yeah, know, Mr. Garrett. I know, Mr. I've been Garrett all my life, mate. And I was like, buy, buy a mine lab, buy a mine You convinced me, didn't you? No, I'm a Garrett man. He was go. I'm a Garrett man. And, uh, he convinced me to do it, and I tell you what, I'm really glad I did. Such a machine. And the more you play uh, play around with it, mate, the more you'll get to know it. Yeah. And well, you look, you look around here, guys. You see how deep this grass is, and we're still finding targets sort of nine inches deep down. And that's without, you know, sort of battling through the grass first. Well, we're still going on this one. Got a bit of a stone with it. 
battery life I find is really good on it as well, mind. What have you got on it? Hmm? Well, this is the first time I've charged it since I've had it. Well, I charged it when I had it a couple of weeks ago. And um, I charged it last night to come back out, but it was... Well, it didn't need charging. Probably could have done another day. Yeah, you've got coin a coin. edge. Oh, it's a big coin. Cartwheel, is he? I don't think it's that big. Mm. Don't be surprised. Or well, it could be one of the tokens. It's a token. For the yeah, thickness of it. I'm thinking a token. One of the mining tokens. Is it a penny token? Really can't get much out of it, though. They should, if it's the um, the mining ones. Because oh. obviously we had a colliery about two miles down that way. Um, and if it is a mining token, it got like the royal crest on the back of it. Okay. Three little symbols. Uh, it's pretty... It's going to need a good clean, yeah, at least. Not. Yeah, he's quite toasted, isn't he? It's seen better days, hasn't it? Well, it I would say days. that is a token. I'll probably guess it. If it cleans up, it'll... Uh, it'll One penny token I'm going to go with. One penny token. Yes. Ooh. Happy days, Bert. Nice find. Well done. Happy days. Usually around, I think the last one I found from there was 18... something. Really? Yeah, it was a really old one, like 1812 or something. Yeah, it's, it's pretty... I found it, though. You found, found it. it. It's it yours. Happy it's days. On to the next one. <laughs> one out the hole. Craig's got himself something. What numbers, mate? Talk to us. It is... 1718. Okay. That's a good number. It is a good number. It's a magic number. We like that number. We like these we? numbers and it's deep as well. Can you have a, a silver threepence on a 16? Uh, 1617 the silver usually comes out at, yeah, oh. to be honest with you. So, you That's uh, promising, there. And it's very deep, this. Very promising, there. So, yeah. We never know. You're going to be there. Oh, it's still in there. Still wants more, mate. It wants a lot more, mate. Unless I'm a little bit offside. Let's take a bit of the side out. Was it reading up deep on the knock? Yes, okay. yeah. Showing up with five arrows. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what? I think we're, um, we're going to do a bit of digging. We'll get it turned over and we'll sure come back to you shortly. I know. Shortly. <laughs> We're back online. We're back uh, online. We just filmed this coming out of the hole, but yeah. Chris forgot to no, press no, record. No, no, we got the record. It might just be a, a, a two glitch, second a glitch between the clips when but you But luckily, in between that, I managed to get a bit of cleaning done. So I we think we got that as well. A half penny. We have the lady in a wheelchair on the back. <laughs> a lady in a wheelchair on the back. <laughs> See if I can get a date off here. No, no chance. Um, yeah, so now. Clean on the back, not so clean on the front, but that might be because I slammed it with a shovel when I got put in the hole. Still a good find though, mate. It is a good find. A coin. Nice and deep, as you can see, so happy with that. Was that was all, did you check to see if there was anything else in there? I haven't yet, actually, no. No, actually gone. Yep, that's all one. But yeah, on to the next one. Lovely. Well, I've got myself a target. Brings up being busy a minute. Um, looks like a penny to me. Yeah. Oh, that's a Queen Victoria penny as well. Oh, that's quite nice. I was finding this uh, this area where we are today that the uh, and I was actually saying to Craig that it does it preserves them really well. Oh, 1876. That's one for the pot that is. Oh, look at that one. It's pretty much immaculate. 1876. That's going into the tub, that is. Lovely. I'm well chuffed with that. That's, that's really cool, look. Whoosh. On to the next target. Well, I haven't had a target in a while, so I thought I'd do this one on a live dig. Why not? It's Saturday, in a crew. It is. We're allowed to do stuff like that. It is. Oh. And it's starting to warm up nicely as well, isn't it? It was a bit, a bit, warm, right? it was a bit fresh this morning. Not that I don't mind the cold, right? Right, come on. Let's get it. Out we get. Here we go. Right, what do we have? What do we have? What do we do? Oh, we got silver. Yeah? We got a silver coin. Silver. Oh, lovely jubbly. Silver coin edge? We got a sixpence, oh, Edward. Happy days, Bert. I had to scratch the end of him with a... Nice, that's like the third silver coin out of this field, huh? 
Oh, look at the belt. Nice one, he's clean, that. I needed that. 1910. Hey, happy that's days. A, that's the same. Do you know my half sovereign I found? Yeah. That's 1910 as well. Wish. Well done, that man. I needed that. I haven't had any of this in a while, mate. You haven't had any silver for a while, buddy. <laughs> You're not jealous on that guy. Well, I did have that half crown, <laughs> but that was a, like a week or so yeah. ago. Oh, wow. What's over there, Chris? What's that, Chris? Oh, there you are. What's he, what's he up to? I think I'm on the endangered list for the next five minutes, isn't I? I don't know, but someone's just biting me. Bidgeys! Yeah. Whoosh! <laughs> they're flying around me. I'm going to get my deep spray out in a minute. Nah, they're only beetles. They're alright. Look at them. My silver's next. I'm happy about that. My day's done now. Everything else is a bonus. Well, guys, that's the end of today's video. We hope that you have enjoyed it. Uh, we found a few things. Chris has ended his silver drought. Yes. You happy with that, Chris? I needed that. Yeah, he's very happy with that. It's um, I needed that. as you can see, it's not a very big field, guys. We're just a little circle. But so far, we've had I think three or four silvers out of it. Uh, like, God knows Those how many coins. Really good pennies coming out today as well. Yeah, really yeah. Good coins pennies, half pennies, loads, loads of stuff, loads of old relics in there, and you know. I hope you're not getting bored of us being in this field. The only reason we keep coming back is because we don't have that long um, until it's all dug up. Now, uh, as you can see, some more construction boxes over there. I figure we've got a few more weeks. Uh, we, are, <laughs> we have been a bit cheeky and asked the building company if they'll uh, <laughs> come in and actually plough all this for us. <laughs> um, they haven't said no. Uh, so he said he is going to try and get in here with a machine of sorts to either turn it all over or at least flatten it all off for us. So, It'd be nice to plow it though, wouldn't it? Yeah, I have asked him to plough. Whether he will or not, I don't know. But fingers crossed, the next week or two, all this will be cut right back and uh, we can finish off finding things. We, I want to try and find the rest of that bomb, that mortar. You reckon it's in there, mate? It's definitely in there. It's got to be. Um, it's got to be over in the top field somewhere. So we are hopeful that we'll find it. But yeah, if you uh, have liked the video today, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't, then you know, feel free to give us a thumbs down. <laughs> Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and... Ooh! Almost forgot, Chris. Ooh. Almost forgot. We're having a free giveaway. Um, so, what we're going to need you to do, we're going to be giving away next week, this time next week, a yeah. uh, brand new Garrett's Finds bag, a uh, brand new coin cleaning kit, and I believe we still got another coin box there as well, so we'll be throwing that in. As you can see, we're both flat out mine lab guys now, so that'll be the last Garrett giveaway. After that, it's going to be mine lab from in the future. So, yeah, all you've got to do to enter the giveaway is put a comment below. It's as simple as that. Yeah, obviously, give us a like, watch a video, give us a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, comment below. If you're not a subscriber, then you're not in it, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, just put a comment below. It really is as simple as that. And what we'll do this time next week. We'll pick somebody at random. What we'll usually do is get all the names written down, do it the old-fashioned way, put it in a hat and pull a name out. And the winner takes all, as they say. So, yeah, hopefully um, it'll be one of you guys. So, yeah, put the comments below, and we shall see you very shortly on the next dig. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks for watching.